Another day, another dollar for the N54. Today we're gonna be testing out some more BMW folklore regarding these Vanos solenoids here. Been having a little bit of issues with them. Had codes come up twice now. I'm having rough start issues and I have some oscillation still well, under constant throttle. Very annoying. Don't know if this is gonna fix it, but we're gonna clean these bad boys today. So I just removed the snout to give myself a little extra space to get in here. There are two solenoids. There's an exhaust and an intake one. And I see a lot of people having issues where they put them in backwards after they take them out and it causes their car to have a whole bunch of other issues so I'm just gonna do one at a time they're just held in by 10 millimeter bolts and just this electrical connection right here You know, I'm just thinking, how about I lose this bolt in the engine bay? How fun would that be? Now, if you really, really wanted to go in depth, you could take your radiator fan out for this. Maybe if you're Shaquille O'Neal, you'd need to do that. How come in everyone else's YouTube video, they're just like, all right, you do this, yeah. Put the screwdriver in there. You pull the clip up and it just pops out. But then when I go to do the goddamn shit, it is the most tedious fucking hellish activity I've ever fucking partook in. Like the clip's off. We can see that. Oh, I gotta push it in. Are you fucking jerking off? Get some dirty PT to shove in there. These actually don't look bad, but we're gonna clean them anyways. Looks like I got both O-rings out on that too. Sweet. We're going in with this other O-ring on there and I'm using carb and choke cleaner because I don't know where my math cleaner went. And these things are pretty clean, but these are moving parts. So kind of makes sense that these would get clogged up with engine or um, with deposits and whatnot. Now, a lot of people that I see do this, they have like some little tykes first jumper cable kit where they connect this to like a nine volt battery. I don't have that. So we're just doing this as we're doing it. Final product. That was my intake solenoid, which is the one I'm just having issues with looking at it. It really wasn't that dirty to begin with. A bit cleaner now, so we'll clean out the exhaust one, get both of these put back in the car. This one leaked a lot more than the intake. One thing, make sure you put the O-rings back on these before you put them back in, otherwise they'll leak. If your O-rings look bad, I would recommend replacing those. That could be what's causing Vanos issues for you. In my case, I would consider that these have been cleaned or replaced before. These look pretty good for having 80,000 miles on the car, I think. Wasn't really any buildup on them that I noticed. to the before cold start. But that seems at least halfway better than it was before. I know I still need to clean my valves, which is probably the biggest reason for these rough cold starts and rough idling and the oscillation and whatnot that this car has. Cause I did just recheck my injectors. In cylinders one and two, I have eight. Cylinder three, I have a seven. Cylinder four, I have another eight. And then cylinders five and six, I have two more seven. So I have mixed injectors, whatever. They probably got some life left in them. So realistically, before I start actually looking into those as a problem, I'm gonna do the valves, which is probably gonna be in one of my next couple videos here. Any of the times I've pulled my plugs out or checked my coils, whatever, um, there's 
Like the cylinders are dry. I don't think that the injectors are leaking or anything. So I don't know. Let's go drive this thing and see if it drives any different. Here we go off a red light, second gear. No dip in the RPMs after I press the throttle down like it used to, which is very satisfying. We're moving with cruise control on now. We've got the car just under 2000 RPMs. If you ask me, that needle's about as stationary as it should be. No more oscillation after the Vanos solenoid cleaning. That is a huge plus. That's been an issue on this car for a while. Another thing that was a problem before cleaning the solenoids was a little roll-on would be not the smoothest experience in this car, so. That is 100% smoother. But it does feel a bit faster too. It is also colder out than it used to be, but. That is, it's definitely got more juice to it. Yeah, I mean, if you're having some issues with your, with your BMW not running correctly, this could be the cheapest fix for you. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. It only takes like 20 minutes. Feeling like I had a boss, feeling like I had a baller. I can't complain. Shout she been in a lot. Shout she lost in the sauce. She on a plane. I just get brain and gua. I just get brain and gua. This life is insane. This life is a dream and I like it. Shit, I like it a lot. I see through the pain. This life is a dream and I like it.